right, so here's the Sideshow animated DC statues. Here's a new one. This is the Joker. Holding out the fish. And these are all, of course, very stylized, very simple, just like the animated series, so it's perfect. Harley Quinn, I really like this one. Of course, with Bud and Lou. Her hyenas. Great look. I mean, looks just like the series. We get around, look at Batman. There's Batman. Again, very consistent with the series, so if you watch that growing up, or still watch it, Jesus. you're gonna like it. The bats on the base, very cool. We'll come around here, we'll check out Superman. The Daily Planet base taking off in a puff of smoke there. And then Wonder Woman. There you go, that's the animated DC series from Sideshow at San Diego Comic-Con. All right, here's a really nice piece from Sideshow, the green arrow. It's gonna be a bit of, I gotta go through a couple panes of glass to get you a shot of him, but he's very, very cool. Starting to ship now or very soon, I believe. So nice. This first, this version of it? Yeah. I think it's one of the nicest in the DC line. Look at that jaw. So good. And then we got brand new reveal, the Flash. People have been waiting for a Flash since they announced their DC license years ago. They've done several Batman, several Superman, three Green Lanterns. Several Wonder Womans. They've done two Lobos. And finally, now we get the Flash. This one's sculpted by Daniel Bell, who's amazing. Did a great job on this guy. A lot of people wondering about, you know, the arms too long. And when you see it in person, it's not too bad. Portrait, very, very nice portrait. Very, very nice. So that's a brand new reveal for this year's Comic Con. The Flash, finally, from Sideshow. All right, we got Aquaman from the movie, Jason Momoa. This is a really nice statue. Well, it's an, very looks like he's underwater with the hair flowing, the seaweed kind of swirling in the currents. Likeness is pretty good. The suit looks good. I believe that's a mixed media pants that he has. Overall, pretty nice statue. Big fan of the movie. I think you'll like that one a lot. All right. It's a new Batman life-size bust. I, this is, I think, you know, they have the same sculptor doing a series of busts, life-size busts for them. The Deadpool, the Wolverine, Venom, Hulk. And, uh, I don't know, this one I'm not totally feeling it, but you know, if you're a fan of that guy's style, this is consistent with it. I really like the Deadpool, the Venom. 
Wolverine, not so much. Batman's okay. And there you go. Batman life-size bust from the sideshow display, San Diego Comic-Con. We're gonna move on. All right, Starfire. New premium format. Looks pretty nice in person. I really like the color, the purple. There's Beast Boy. I believe that's the exclusive. There's her portrait for you. I think she turned out very nice. At least I, I like the color at least. Very, very eye-catching purple on the suit. Some glossy areas. Portrait looks good. There's Starfire, premium format. You're good though, you're not in the way. And the Beast Boy. Matthew. There you go. Starfire. Okay, so here's the Heath Ledger Joker. They switched out the arms from uh, earlier in the week. He's now got the clapping hands. But this has a mixed media clothing all around. I like the shoes and the socks there. The jail cell bars in the back. Giving him a nice uh, diorama feel. You know, when you, when you stand here and look at the portrait, it, it looks pretty good. When you see it next to a, a picture of Heath Ledger, it's, it's a little bit off, but it's, it's pretty good. Very nice piece. All right, Mr. Freeze. Expanding the Batman villain line. And this is one, you know, I, when they first revealed it, I wasn't sure. I, I didn't really care for it. Seeing it here, very nice. I like it. You got his, his wife there frozen in the capsule. You know, a nice dome on him. Got his freeze gun. The armor. Standing kind of very stoically. Nice paint job here from Ed Bradley. You got the Batman cape on the base that he's standing on, triumphant. This this one's a lot nicer than I thought. Mr. Freeze, very cool. Catwoman, brand new Catwoman premium format. Sitting atop the bat gargoyle here. This one's nice. I like uh, the seated pose. I think they did it a, you know, something a little bit different. Nice portrait. Nice base. I found this on my way. I don't mind this one. Looks very cool. Again, a little bit of a different pose, so I like that. It's the brand new Catwoman from San Diego Comic Con. Supergirl. Alright, we've got Supergirl in art germ style. It's alright. You know, the base is, is kind of big. It's got the doves. You know, one there, one in her hand. You know, if you like the art term style, that's not too bad. Fabric cape. And we're gonna move around to look at Batgirl. This is the second Batgirl. Premium format. This one's more action, of course, than the first one. I still really like the first one. I thought they did an amazing job with it. This one's got a nice portrait as well. Cape looks nice. It's okay. Again, I still prefer the 
prefer the first one. But if you don't have the first one, then this one pretty good alternative. Swing to the side here and look at another new bat villain, Scarecrow. Again, another one that I like a lot more in person than I thought I would. Standing atop the Jason Todd grave and Jason Todd crawl, crawling out of the the earth. Nice texture on the suit. Yeah, he's pretty cool. And then they've got the Batman himself. I'll be honest, I didn't care for this one. Still don't. Yeah. Way too armored for my taste. Bulky. It looks like a, almost a cross between the Arkham look and the comic look. Not for me. And then right beside him, the main man, Logo, Lobo. Very nice. This is the maquette. Now, I don't think I'd run out and sell my premium format for this one. But this is very nice. Another one painted by Ed Bradley. Did a very nice job. Did they get Totoroki? Yeah. It's cool. Lobo, always very detailed in the costume. Great base. Love the color on the base. The gun's very cool. Shaped like a guitar. Playing it furiously. Cigar in mouth. Enjoying every second of it. Here's a new Lobo maquette. All right, there's the back of Lobo. You can see the Bite Me fanboy leather jacket. Okay, John Stewart, Green Lantern. This is Green Lantern number three, if you're keeping track, in the Sideshow collection. We've done two previous Hal Jordans. This is the first time branching out to a new member of the core. That's not bad. Not bad. his giant construct. I don't love the look of the construct. A little plasticky. But John Stewart looks good. Great face. All right, there you go. There's the DC. I skipped over Batman vs. Superman and the Wonder Woman. I think those are older releases, but that's pretty well the whole DC lineup of premium formats and maquettes from San Diego Comic-Con sideshow booth.